Heightened alert, fear and anxiety on what for many students is the last day before the winter holiday break. It all started with rumors on the social media app TikTok of planned school shootings or bomb threats. In a statement, TikTok says in part, quote, we have not found evidence of such threats originating or spreading via TikTok. Law enforcement has said the threats are not credible, but some school districts aren't taking any chances. We have reports from News Nation stations from all across the country. I'm Jennifer McGraw here in Brentwood, where the LAUSD is taking a TikTok challenge serious. I'm Will Tran in Pleasanton, California, where kids are inside the classrooms, but they are anxious. But to ease their fears, police officers are on campus as well just to make sure that the kids and the teachers and the administrators are safe. I'm Barrett Tryon in Green Bay. Preble High School here behind me has actually had three threats this week alone on social media. Two of them happened within 24 hours of each other. In fact, it got so bad that the school decided that they were going to eliminate in-person classes for the rest of the weeks. It comes after another series of threats against schools on social media. In Seattle, administrators closed a high school there this week. And in Oxford, Michigan, the site of the most recent deadly mass school shooting, schools closed for similar threats. While the origination of the threat may be deemed uncredible, you never know when there might be that one student out there who decides hey, maybe they were on the edge of an action at one point and they decide, OK, this is my chance. This is my time now. Um, so, you know, I will always move to the side of caution, especially when the lives of young people are at stake. New York City schools out with a message Friday to students saying, quote, threats of violence have very real consequences, regardless of the reason the threat was made. And we do not want our young people to jeopardize their bright futures over social media challenges such as these. The Lee County Sheriff in Florida making a TikTok of his own in response to the threats with a warning. Fake or real. I can promise you, you're not only going to get out of school, because you will, but you're going to jail. And there are consequences to these kinds of threats. The Seattle police announcing this afternoon the arrest of a 17-year-old girl for threats made earlier in the week. Nicole? Yeah, those consequences, very important. Evan, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.